Welcome to This Week in Wisconsin History. This week, we'll be covering the 1977 election of Jim Yadin, the state's first openly gay person to hold public office. On April 5th, 1977, 26-year-old Jim Yadin was elected by public vote to a full-term seat on Madison City Council, the first openly gay public official in Wisconsin and only the fourth in U.S. history. The UW Law graduate had previously helped form the Gay Law Students Association on campus and was an early member of the Madison Alliance for Homosexual Equality, Wisconsin's first gay rights organization. Yadin later served on the Madison Equal Opportunities Commission, playing an integral part in reframing the city's Equal Opportunities Ordinance to include protection for Madison's LGBT community. In an October 1976 special election, Yadin was appointed by city council members to serve out the remainder of a resigning alder's term. He publicly came out in the local papers the next day. I wanted to be honest, but, you know, I said, so I did an interview with the Daily Cardinal and I said, hey, there's two things that are important to me. I'm gay and I'm a vegetarian and I don't, I'm not trying to proselytize and want everybody to be gay or be a vegetarian just telling you who I am. And then everybody knew. Yadin ran for a full term in the general election six months later as an openly gay man. I gotta tell you, I had some wonderful people who ended up, you know, straight people who worked on my campaign, who lived in these dorms, who had never actually met a gay person. They had no idea, you know, that there were such a thing. And they met me, they liked me, they helped me on my campaign. So I was really grateful for that. But um, so I won my two years, and there wasn't a quota, you know, I, I never had a gay agenda. I just wanted to be me and be honest. On Madison City Council, Yadin worked on projects such as health department reform, completion of the State Street Mall, decriminalization of marijuana, and the extension of bar hours until 2 a.m. The young alderman also fought against efforts to repeal the Equal Opportunities Ordinance he'd helped amend just years earlier. Throughout his term, Jim received many letters from closeted gay people across the country, seeking his support and advice. Even so, Yadin was still a common recipient of death threats. So many, in fact, that he kept a collection in a designated Threats on Life folder as evidence, in case anything ever happened to him. Jim Yadin resigned from Madison City Council just before the end of his term, and subsequently announced his retirement from politics, wanting to fully devote himself to his own law practice. He continued practicing real estate law out of Madison for over 30 years. Only five years after Yadin's historic 1977 election, Wisconsin became the first state to ban discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. Wisconsin has continued to elect openly gay candidates into public office, including Ricardo Gonzalez in 1989 as the nation's first openly gay Hispanic public official, and Tammy Baldwin in 1998 and 2012 as the first openly gay U.S. Congresswoman and Senator. And that's what happened this week in Wisconsin history.